Did you know that you can mount your Karma Grip to your GoPro extension pole? Well, I'm gonna show you how, coming up. Hi guys, I'm Scotty with Scotty Goes Pro, and today's video is to show you how I mount my Karma Grip to my El Grande extension pole. I always like to start off saying that I'm not sponsored by GoPro in any way. I just love their products, their accessories, and love to use them in my everyday filming. So you may be asking yourself, why would I want to attach my Karma Grip to my El Grande extension pole? Well, I think it's safe to say that most of us buy a GoPro so that we can capture those different perspectives that you can't normally get with a traditional type of camera. If you own the Karma Grip, you want to use your GoPro to get buttery smooth footage. So attaching these two items allows you to get just another perspective for your arsenal and your filmmaking with that buttery smooth footage. So the real question is, why wouldn't you want to attach your Karma Grip to your El Grande? So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the items that you're going to need to make this happen. First and foremost, you're going to need your Karma Grip. Secondly, you're going to need the little grip strap that comes with your Karma Grip. Next, you'll need the grip mounting ring thing that comes with your Karma Grip. Then you'll just need the standard GoPro mount or the J-hook, a thumb screw, and last but certainly not least, your El Grande extension pole. So now that you have all these items, let's go ahead and put this thing together. So first of all, you want to make sure that the grip ring is connected to the Karma Grip and that the ring is on top because we're actually going to be mounting this to the bottom of your extension pole. So once you have that done, go ahead and connect your GoPro mount to the Karma Grip. You'll turn the El Grande upside down and adjust the ball joint so that it's all the way on the bottom. Connect your Karma Grip to the El Grande and go ahead and keep these thumb screws and all your little joints kind of loose for now. From here you want to extend the pole slightly and then connect the grip strap around the end but don't tighten it up quite yet. So once you get all that connected and kind of get everything lined up, you want to make sure your Karma Grip is lined up with the extension pole. Then you can go ahead and start tightening down those thumb screws and that strap to get everything sturdy. All right, so once you get all that put together, this is what the finished product is going to look like. Now I mentioned earlier that you can substitute this uh, standard GoPro mount with a J-hook. And the only reason you really want to do that is if you need more clearance between the Karma Grip and the pole here. As you can see, I got pretty average size hands. And I can get my fingers in here very easily. There's no, there's no need to use a J-hook for me. But that is an option if you do need more clearance here. So once you got all this together, you'll tighten down all the thumb screws. Once you get everything aligned and straightened, you can tighten all that down and tighten down the strap. And from here, you can use the Karma Grip like this. Or you can extend it all the way out and get some really cool over-the-head type aerial shots. Just keep in mind that if you're getting over-the-head shots and you want to be looking down on whatever you're filming, you're going to need to adjust your GoPro camera beforehand so you can just turn it down to the angle that you want, extend it out, and then get those shots. Now the downside of this is once you have this extended all the way up and you're trying to get those shots, it's almost impossible to see through this little LCD screen and frame your shots. So to fix that problem, then one of the next videos I'm going to put out is I'll be showing you how to mount your smartphone to this setup, to the El Grande on this setup, as well as directly to your Karma Grip. That way you can easily frame your shots better with that too. And I'd just like to add that when I first thought about doing this, adding the Karma Grip to the extension pole, I really thought that it would be end heavy, that all the weight would be on the end, it'd be really hard to hold on to. But with this El Grande, having that oversized grip makes it really easy and comfortable to hold on to with two hands. Which, of course, anytime you're holding on to something for a long time, you know, the weight's going to kind of get to you, your, your arms are going to get a little fatigued, but this over, that oversized grip really makes it easy and comfortable to hold on to. And that about wraps it up, guys. It's really that simple. So if this video was helpful for you, share the love and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, so that way you don't miss future content like me showing you how to attach your smartphone to this type of setup, as well as lots of other ideas that I have coming out. If you have any questions about any of this or any other content that you've seen on my channel, please leave those questions down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer any of those for you. If you have any ideas for future content that you would like to see, please leave all that stuff too down in the comment section, or you can send me a personal message whichever you prefer. And that's pretty much it for now. See you next time.